I'm trying to paint! Today I am painting Grey Knights and I am doing Lord Keldor Drago. Painting I'm using will be Keldor Sky. Uh, I'm not actually using Roofing Steel, Auric Armor Gold, Kislev Flesh, Jokir Orange Iron Breaker, Lothurn Blue, Gnome Oil, Reikling Flesh Shade, White Scar, Evil Sun Scarlet, and Ushapji Bone. I started off by priming my model with Chaos Black Spray. First paint I will be using will be Ironbreaker, and this is just for his armor, as he is like Silver Knight of Justice or whatever. He's just a silver, basically. Old school knight style, I think of it as. And we just, you want it to be an even layer. Like, you can get it patchy in places where it's kind of like a paler, but you want it like nice, even all over. So it may take a couple of layers. Then I'm on to White Scar. I'm doing his loincloth. I'm doing like the one half of his little shield here. Then I'm on to my Usha Hapti Bone. And I'm getting the, his little book pages, they're easy to miss. And I'm doing like all the little Grey Knight logo symbol things, the page on those, period seals. Like, look around your model, try and find things. Then I'm on to Kislev Flesh. And this is to do his man face. Because this is a color for a man face, you know? So I'm doing, I'm doing him with this. And you don't want to put it on too thick. Make sure, obviously, you're watering your paints now. Because you don't want to clog up his eyes or his mouth and lose the detail. Then on to my Evil Sun Scarlet. Now I'm doing the back of his um, link cloth here, as well as like the front cover of his little personal man diary and like his back banner, uh, which is like the main color of the back banner here. I'm pretty much doing the whole thing red and then pick out the details later. Then his cape, which becomes the main red feature on the model, I suppose. And there's a lot more effort goes into that in the end. And his storm boulder. I almost overlooked it when I was doing this. Um, then I go back to my Ushahapti bone. Because I did actually overlook a ton of details like all over the banner. Um, yeah, just like things all over the place. Then I went to my Auric armor gold. And I just want to get all the random text he has on his armor. Then with my Reikling flesh shade. Um, I want to bit on his face basically just to add a bit of depth. A bit of like tan, a bit of shadow, whatever you want to say. Then Lothurn Blue, and I'm doing his like super armpit wires that he's got going here, as well as like these random little stripes on his banner. It's like the most unartistic banner ever. Then with the Iron Breaker, I'm doing a bit more like, I want to catch the sword now, because the sword's really thin and it's easier to do it after than before. Then with Gnome Oil, this is like my main shade for this model. Like, I want to do almost everything with this. Now, don't just plaster all over it. You keep it in your cracks. Don't do it too thick like it looks like I'm doing there. Um, and just keep it in the cracks. Because otherwise it's going to be really difficult later when we're trying to touch up like the main armor and things again. And here I'm just like dotting his eyes with it as well as doing a line on his mouth. Now, as you can see, it looks like a lot what I do. To get my finger, I'm squashing on his face. Not too hard because you take the paint off. And it basically just, like, your finger kind of just absorbs the excess and it just leaves, like, his eyes and mouth shadowed kind of thing. And, obviously, you don't want to be losing the right on fresh shade from the rest of his face. Then I just do a little bit around or around his forehead. Complicated. Yeah. Iron Breaker. Now I'm touching up the armor plates with it. And, as I said earlier, if you got it everywhere and not just in the cracks, this will take you a lot of time. So, yeah, be careful. Then I'm onto Evil Sun Scarlet. And I'm just doing the same thing here with, like, his loincloths and things like that. And his cape, which you want to pick out the razors. You still want to obviously keep you washing. It takes time. Don't just expect to look perfect straight away. I'll give you an example in a minute of kind of how it should look kind of thing. And just picking up your seals, the banner, the stone belt, all these sorts of things. And then Auric Armor Gold. Here I'm doing a dry brush. I basically take most of the paint off my brush with a tissue. And I'm just then running my brush that has hardly anything on it, just over the um, letters, and they just pick up the gold, gives them back some of the shine that they lost from the wash. Then we got our Usha Habti Bone, or is it Us Habti Bone? No, that's stupid. It's Ush Usha Habti Bone, perhaps. And I'm just picking out all these banners and all these things and all that sort of stuff. All that sort of stuff. And we're just cleaning them up. Like, don't just, again, don't just cover them. You, the wash is great to leave, like, shadow. So don't just go over all that. 
That way my Keldor Sky, I'm doing his sword blue. By all means, use a darker blue. I like bright colors, okay? Use a darker blue. Um, then I'm using Joke Hero Orange to highlight the um, the red. I'm highlighting the red. And again, I'm picking out like the raised areas, the edges, especially with the caper, it's complicated. Start with like the sharp edges where it like clearly folds sharp. Highlight those first. And then start to work on like the more faulty parts. Like it's it can be complicated. Take your time with it. Do bit by bit. Don't expect to just do it all in one go. Like go over it, then go over it again, go over it again. Slowly bring it out. And it looks something like this. Then we'll go on to Lothurn Blue. And I do a little jewel on his forehead here. Because I, I think it looked better blue. And I, I don't know what color they did in the in Games Workshop, but I like the blue. Then I'm doing the stripes on his banner. Make them pretty. Get his little armpit wires, because like no man is, you know, he's got to have his armpit wires done. Then, like, his sword. Now, I used some artwork from a black Templar that a Games Workshop fan had drawn. And he basically did these, like, weird loops on the power sword, like, in the artwork. It's, like, cartoony artwork. And, like, he did, like, these loops that kind of, like, looped around each other kind of thing. And I basically wanted to copy that. I was going to do, like, the blue fuzzy fade thing like everybody else. But I thought, no, I want actual lightning. Like, I remember the days when a power sword or a force weapon were supposed to be, like, have lightning, like, streaked all over them. Not just glow. So, yeah. And don't do them the thinnest either. The thinnest lines come later. Then onto the face, we're using kids left flesh. Now, I think of this as five lines. His nose, each side of his forehead, and each cheek. It's literally just, like, five lines to bring out those details on the face there. White scar. Now with the white scar, I am just going around the edges of all my Usha Hubti bone parts, as well as like all the armor. Now I, when it comes to using white scar, I go highlight crazy. I highlight everywhere, but by all means, it's not necessary. It's not. Just pick out the more raised areas and do like the blue wiring. Now, now we're doing our finest lines on that sword. Like we want the white thinner than the blue. That's why it's if you do the blue as thin as you can. You're just going to cover it with your white now. So now you want to do your thinnest lines. And literally, like this, it, I think it's quite a striking look. And it's pretty much how the artwork went. So that's why I wanted to do it like that. And I'm just picking out like the raised details of the line cloth. Here, I'm just wiping some of the paint off, ready to do a dry brush with my white. And I'm aiming to get the top half of the letters of the gold to give them like make it look like they're extra shiny but if you do end up getting the whole letters kind of like i do because you got bad aim that's fine like it looks fine and this is that finished model yeah if you liked please like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and click here for other videos that i do thanks